Okay. I really need to figure out this uh, cropping soon so I <laughs> don't have to do this uh, fake cropping. But works for now. Turn the volume down a little bit. Okay, we're doing another one by Fuke Pisan again. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I really like um, this guy's colors. They're pretty crazy. I think when I I kind of feel, kind of feel guilty because when I posted the painting last time, there was some people saying like, "Oh wow, I love your colors or your color," you know. Man, artists always take the photos and make them way more interesting by doing artist license and stuff. And I was like, no, not really. I'm just copying this guy's colors. And yeah, they're just, they look like paintings already. So I'm into it. Maybe I can put in some just blocks like this some rectangles <laughs> for my colors never actually tried this uh, one of the most prolific heavy painters Linden he, he does this he just puts rectangles everywhere Maybe like this and then mix. To get the gradient going. It's more neon -y over there. Greens always trip me up. Let's just keep blocking and stuff, maybe. Okay, I don't think that's pure black. I think it's a little bit blue. Back here. not definitely not black that's like grayish reddish right and it looks wrong here because the sky is too dark I think so maybe Hey Basim, the this one I'm guessing will be maybe a couple months before it goes to mobile. It needs to be finished on desktop first before it goes to mobile because uh, mobile's sort of once you update you can't go back where as on desktop you can. So the mobile one needs to be basically like you know done before it, it goes live. I'm also a sucker for really big 
soft gradients like this. They're just they just feel very luxurious. Any kind of big giant gradient. You know what I mean? It's like we have space for infinite gradients. This is more yellow, right? Okay, these shadows, let's see. Maybe we can use a lasso. We can draw those negative shapes a little easier. There we go. More bluish, right? I think. Can't tell, man. These greens are really tricky.
Okay, we have this one as a mask, so let's start painting this one in with the gradients. We have some light here. And it's like blue. Much brighter. Even brighter. Ooh, I wonder if we could get this shadow here. How would you describe that? Like that. And then soften up this side. You can use mix. Bogdan from Heavy Paint or, or I mean from uh, Breaking Bad Mr. Bogdan just finished watching that show again Michelle's first time um, I love how you place large chunks of shapes thanks yeah it makes it easier do you get confused with the brush which brush to use for painting when you have variety uh, well, I m mainly use just these two, fill and fill radiant. Those are my main two, so it's pretty simple. But yeah, a lot of people have said that they like that there's not that many tools in heavy paint because then. They don't have to think about which tool to use, <laughs> I guess. What do you call that? Um, like choice paralysis or something like that? I forget. have Minecraft trees today, maybe. Some red back there, too. I always forget to put red in, in my trees, but it's hiding there. It's 
kind of cool, right? Blocky. Looks sort of like a rock. <laughs> this tree. Can we mix here? Oh, no. That looks crappy. Oh, crash. Crash. No, okay. I, I, I felt it like wanting to crash. Okay, so here's a something tricky. It's like mix mix right now. It's a it's it's a tool that does like this. You know, like it mixes between colors under your mouse. But you see how right now it's like mixing the entire canvas. I wonder if it should mix only on the existing layer or on the layer that you're on so it would only mix like these green colors and not the yellow of the other layer what do you guys think should it be per layer or per or the whole canvas or should it maybe there just needs to be two modes for mix which gets a little bit more complicated but Per layer. I love the Minecraft tree. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Um, analysis paralysis, that's the one. Yeah. Why Japan is such a fancy country? Yeah, it looks. I wonder if these lights are actually exist here or if he, you know photoshopped or set up some lighting or, or if this is just all natural you know all natural maybe I should do a clip layer here to get this pink let's see clip down let's see if this crap works I'll just make it a really obvious color and then erase some of it and then go on here stencil mode let me use a more textury brush eh, actually I don't know if I want textury do I? And then underneath here it should just be blue. I'm gonna just fill it, fill it up. With the fill gradient. Maybe move this over. Man, clipping is so cheating. This is such cheating. It's hard to get that bright, saturated, like, salmon color. Can't... And then it blends out here. Oh man, this is tricky. Maybe it should be erased here. Erase it. And then maybe more down here to blend it. There's a lot of like little gradients and blending and weird things going on. I, I really enjoy it. Like over here, what is that? Like, it's really close to this color, but more orangey, more rich, more saturated, right? Is it like that? I don't know what it is, but it's juicy. Let's 
And same thing over here on this little tip. It gets more juicy over there. Um, are you planning on having layers merge down? Yeah, there's a merge down right now. It's a little bit... Um, let me show you what happens. So, uh, with merge down, well, first let me save this. This goes to show you how scared I am of this uh, merge right now. Um, uh, okay. Send two. Okay, so the merge, it it's uh, sort of like a workaround for merge right now. So it doesn't actually merge the strokes. It takes a screenshot of the two layers and squishes them down. So it merges sort of like fo how Photoshop does. But in the later on, I want to redo it and make it so that it keeps all the stroke history. So you'd be able to like undo it. But for now... Uh... Where are we? Okay, let me make a new layer above here by clicking over here to make a new layer. And then let's say I have this business over here. And I click on this one on the uh, above and I say merge down. And you'll see that it, it hides, it, it keeps the, the two layers that we merged, it just hides them. So now they're invisible. And then it made a new layer with the merged two layers. And uh, the reason why I keep these two old layers around right now is because this has no history to it. If I undo it, it's just nothing, um, which is, so I can unhide these two. So I go visible, visible. So I, I, I want to read, yeah, I want to do it so that there's history and you can undo still when you have these merged. I, I just haven't figured it out yet. But that's the workaround for now. And also, I don't think merge down works with clip layers either yet. I don't think iPad has any shortcuts yet. Um, I mean, it should. Have you you tried with the Bluetooth keyboard already? It should have the same shortcuts as Mac. But if it doesn't, that's not right. Okay. Why does everyone want to go to Florida when they're in trouble? Actually, I had some pretty shady neighbors in Florida that were not from Florida. And the guy would always be like, uh, I'm never going back to jail, man. You know what they do to a guy like me in jail? <laughs> Hello, Eben, Eben. It's not working. Dang, are you sh are you using c uh, command with your keyboard? Like command uh, Z. and not control. This, I feel like I'm abusing the uh, fill gradient on this painting a lot.
I think these uh, s little squares over here need to get more, they just need to get smaller in the background to get this sense of scale going. Block needs some friends, right? Wait, back here. Hello. Hey. You like my Minecraft trees? I don't know what that means. They're blocking. Yeah. Thanks. Um. topic but where do you find reference I don't know just this is Instagram I mean I've been painting a lot of Instagram lately um, I don't really have any s one spot but yeah I really like this guy he has a lot of cool ones Far back mountains. They're going a little bit darker. Very, very slightly darker than the sky. Something's wrong with the. Uh, I think when I eye drop colors, it's it's also changing the masking color, which is not what I want. I'm gonna change that afterwards. And also, I want to make it so when you eye drop, it brings you back into it brings you back into draw mode if you're in a race, because I feel like you'd never want to eye drop um, and then erase, right? Doesn't make any sense. Um, you can also unerase here, like this. 
And then let's switch to stencil and just fill that. This painting is very soft. <laughs> Everything is so gentle. richness over there maybe this just needs to be this corner is too hard it's too crispy right compared to that corner so let's see what can we do we can cut into it with some blue it softens it up a little bit and the other option is to erase a little bit over there and see how that looks mouth boy boy snow back here it gets kind of shady or there's a shadow behind the embankment I guess I wonder if we can I don't know what texture would work Looks like there's little some lines there. if we smudge what if we smudge the mask only to get this a little bit blurry
It's pretty sharp though. Maybe just a little bit here and there. to be not as literal as I'm inclined to be. This goes on top. It's really crazy green color. <laughs> Never seen a pole with well, I guess that's the light hitting it, but this must be super long exposure. on top. Oops. There it is. forget Mr. Pole has a shadow too. extra detail in this tree area. Like these little baby trees in the front. What do those look like?
Ooh, I know. I want to try some texture, maybe. This is uh, the new um, random texture, which I was thinking might be cool for trees and stuff. I think I'm ruining it. <laughs> Maybe let me try one of the other ones. Hmm. Sort of. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Kind of nice spongy, pretty fine. Oh, fuck. And then there's the white. The white. I should zoom out for this. Okay, looks like there's some uh, truck or some vehicle buried in the snow in front of the barn. So you gotta have that.
Okay, last thing is probably these little uh, gradients in the back. Let's see. They need to go behind the little background mountains. Behind these ones. In front of this one. Okay, fill gradient. More orangey. And then for those little dots inside, I'll go almost white and just a really tiny uh, dots. And then maybe for the red one, I'll just make it more red. Gotta have those little dots everywhere. It make, makes it fancier. Even these little dots, I think, are pretty cool. Stars, probably, right? Can we use uh, one of these? Uh, maybe a uh, fill stretch. Where is it? Fill stretch. This one doesn't randomize, it just puts them in straight. Eh, looks like the world is spinning, maybe. One of those time-lapse uh, spinny things. Eh, no. can also try... Circle. go like that and then erase it maybe with the same texture try to get these to disappear a little bit or maybe fill gradient I don't know about this sky too noisy. 
needs more it needs to be more just like spotty it's too uniform maybe just regular draw ah too much Uh. <laughs> Here, I'll I guess I, I have to just stop being lazy and paint them in. Okay, last thing before we go is I want to put some love on these um, these foreground uh, shadows. I'm going to go over them with a little bit of this green right at the edge. I think that'll look really nice. This green, much smaller. Kind of ugly, but whatever. <laughs> and I think the same thing over here on this part. Let's give it a little bit extra juice. I think also this area over here which layer is that crap Yeah, it should definitely be by layer mixing. You can smudge instead for now.
gonna try to make the sky a little bit darker. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I think that's it for today, guys. Uh, let's see. Liquid Pixel says Windows and cannot access the da 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 da. Oh, that's weird. Um, try just bring it to your desktop and uh, extract it there. See if it works. That's weird. Um, usually that sounds like it's a file permission issue that sometimes happens if you for example if you put it in program files you might not have permission to do that so just try putting it in desktop and then zoom is um, middle mouse I think and pan is right mouse okay let's save this to be or not to be. How long was that? An hour? Okay. Too bad. No crashes, right? Actually, yeah, I don't remember any crashes today. Wow, this is the first day without a crash on this ver this uh, experimental version so that's good let's see 2020 2b let's see how did this come out is it matching it looks about right no obvious differences all right. Next, another thing I need to add is um, like high-res export. That'll be soon. Cool. I'm happy with my Minecraft trees. Um. Anyway, see you guys next time. Thanks for joining in again, and uh, hope you'll try out the new and less crashy version. Remember to dislike, unsubscribe, and report this channel to the proper authorities. Alright, see you next time. Bye.